Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alfred Cromwell. I am the founder and president of City Tutoring, a, an academy of sorts that is dedicated to mathematical success, particularly in young people who are struggling in mathematics. And the message you just heard was a part of a series that I was uh, of, of messages that I was giving my students here at City Tutoring who struggle with the right kind of thinking. And a lot of errors in life, not just mathematical errors, come from faulty thinking. It comes from a they, th these thoughts come from a lack of foundation, of lot of a logical foundation. You need to have a set of foundational truths in order for you to operate successfully in life. And I believe that this uh, this project that we're embarked upon here at City Tutoring is already benefiting hundreds of students. You're going to see next week, probably, I'm going to have students come in and give testimonials of how uh, their lives have actually changed because they have discovered the power of mathematics. Uh, so the purpose of this video is to show you if uh, one of the entrance exams that we gave for our Algebra 1 students. Of course, if you're going to take Algebra 1, we assume a knowledge of pre-algebra. The entrance exams are not meant to be extremely hard. They're just meant to see if you're compatible, if the skills that you show are compatible with the types of skills that you will be needing in Algebra 1. If we see that on the entrance exam, you don't do well, then, of course, we're not going to sell you Algebra 1 because we're not going to be involved in fraud. We are going to tell you right up front that you are not qualified to be in Algebra 1. And we start from the beginning. We always start students where they belong, at the level that they belong. This this whole nonsense of um, we've been hearing there's a federal law that I believe was started by the Bush administration, by Bush the second, not the, the father. Uh, it was called No Child Left Behind. And what we're seeing is actually the opposite. Thousands of young people are being left behind by such a poorly made, poorly written law. And here at City Tutoring, we are not in the business of pandering to political fads. We are in the business of engaging in excellence, promoting the right kind of thinking. So we're, we're not even, you know, I know that in many schools that, the, for example, the Department of Education is a big, big presence uh, here at City Tutoring. We've almost never even we almost never even hear about the Department of Education. They barely even exist because these are bureaucrats that are not capable. They are not in charge of our students. We are not going to allow them to be in charge of our students. We're going to allow math people. We're going to allow. And we also offer other courses, by the way. I don't want you to get the impression that we only do mathematics, although my specialty as, as the founder is mathematics because that was my major. But we also have other courses. We teach history, American history, European history, world history. It's not just Asian and uh, European and American. It's also Asian. It's also uh, the, the history of all the continents in the world. Um, and so we create a lot of history courses and we also create a lot of uh, we have science courses as well. So we have everything and we don't want to give the impression that we limit ourselves in any particular way. We don't follow the core curriculum. If you're into the core curriculum, this is not the right channel for you. This is not the right video for you. City tutoring is not for you. City tutoring is on a mission to promote not only are we promoting mathematical thinking for the math students, but we're also promoting freedom. And of course, we don't trap ourselves in these kind of constraints. And those of you who are not American and you don't live in the United States, you're not aware of all the controversies that we've had here uh, with the Department of Education and with all these regulations that they try to impose on our schools. We're simply not going to bend the knee to any kind of bureaucrat who has never even worked with mathematics just because they have some kind of utopian fake political vision. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what the uh, pretest looks like to uh, actually qualify to be in Algebra 1 at City Tutoring. And let's see if I can share it. So the way it works is this. Um, the pretest, it, it really has two parts. First part we call the fundamentals. The second part we call the problem solving. Now, if you're if you're a student and you can solve almost all of the fundamental problems, and you can solve at least half of the problem-solving problems in the second part, then we believe sincerely, based on experience, that you are ready to take Algebra 1, the, which is really an introductory course to what Algebra is all about, at least high school Algebra. Um, now, if you cannot solve more than 80% of the uh, fundamental section, 
then you should consider uh, our pre-algebra course. If you are, if you solve nearly all of the fundamentals, but you still have a great dif deal of difficulty with the problem solving section, then you should consider reviewing our, our pre-algebra uh, course. And that's going to help you develop that maturity that you need and the problem solving skills that you need for your introduction to algebra. Now, what I always recommend is that you administer when you when you do the diagnostic, right, that we give you uh, the diagnostic. Number one is um, it's either in person or online. If it's online, you have to lock your screen. You have to download specific software. You are not allowed to use a calculator. We do proctor that. We don't want our students using calculator at this level. Again, not because we're against calculators. We know it's a reality. But calculators uh, are not going to show us that you actually know how to manipulate on your own. All of the problems that we give you are able to be manipulated without a calculator. So you should always attempt all the questions without a calculator. If you're watching this video, and even if you're not going to join City Tutoring, uh, th th don't worry. The, ch the test changes every year, of course. So... If you're going to, uh, but this is if you were going to apply for us, uh, do not use a calculator because that's cheating. Uh, you, you know, you're not going to, uh, even though I won't know if you're using it, but tr uh, don't use it. And without any help, obviously, you should not be asking anyone to help you with these questions. There is a time limit and you should take note. There are a total of, let me double check your 12 questions. Uh, you should take no more than uh, 70 minutes. 70 to 80 minutes uh we're not so so strict on the timing but definitely not you know you're not if you're taking two hours then you know what we're not interested uh in moving forward because this should not if you have the qualifications this should not take two hours so at most at the very 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 most it should take you an hour and a half if you're thinking about it but it, it shouldn't even be that long um now the first part that you see here is what we call working with variables. I mean, this is really basic stuff. It should not be difficult. If you are getting into Algebra 1, you should already know how to do this from pre-algebra. You should already know things like the distributive property. So have a look at these problems. You can take a picture of them. You can write them down and see how you do. You can pause the video, of course, because I have to move forward. The next set of problems is this. The linear equations, right? Some of them are just regular linear equations. Some of them have uh, fractions. Nothing wrong with that. And then we test the laws of exponents. They're very, very basic because there's a lot more to say about that, as you saw in my other video today. Uh, and then we have the ratio, ratio and rates. Uh, these are some word problems here. Uh, then we have some square root problems. So you can put a pause, as I said, and, and, and have a look at these. And then we have a problem solving section, which is this right here, right? We test things like what is the value of the sum five plus 10 plus 15 plus all the way up to a hundred. And then we have some word problems here and we have a percentage problem in number, um, number 12. So have a look at this, see how you do. If you're getting 80% or more correct, then you would qualify to take algebra one at city tutoring. And if you're not getting 80% of these correct, then you would have to uh, opt for our pre-algebra course. We never put people in a level that doesn't correspond to actually what they show that they know, right? Because that only creates frustration. And some of you have seen in your schools that when you are placed in a level that doesn't correspond to your actual level, uh, that's when all the suffering begins. And we're not going to do that here. This whole idea of no child left behind is warped because it's not about no child left behind. It's about having that every child knows, every young person knows um, what they're dealing with, what set of numbers they're dealing with, uh, how comfortable they are with the material. Look, there's nothing wrong with being of a certain age. Like, let's say you're 17 and you're still in Algebra 1. Nothing wrong with that. Don't compare yourself to other people. The moment you start comparing yourself to others, that is the root of a lot of sadness in people. Envy, sadness, frustration, spiritual starvation. So go by your level. You should only be concerned about your level, not what other people are doing. And uh, you could do a lot of great things. Look, I didn't be, I'm a mathematician. I didn't begin as some kind of math prodigy in school, right? I began as a regular student in math. I didn't even know what math was about. I didn't know, I didn't, I hadn't discovered the power of math, as I mentioned uh, in many of my other videos.
So have a look at these. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section. You can uh, let me know your answers uh, to see how you do on these. And if this video was helpful, as I always say, we almost have 800 subscribers today. Thank you. We are blessed because of you. Um, the, the, the great things are happening. We now have, as, as of the last time I counted, we now have 799 subscribers. Can you imagine just a month ago, if you would have seen this channel, there were only 160, about 160 subscribers from some previous year. All of a sudden, we have almost 800 people subscribing to the channel. And because I think I've, I've noticed what people have valued is they value the honesty that we bring at City Tutoring, authenticity. They also value that we don't beat around the bush. We tell you exactly what you need to know. We go through every single topic that comes in uh, in math. We're not here for the publicity. We're not here for the for some kind of reputation. Well, we do. We already have a reputation. We are, we have the reputation of being one of the toughest, one of the strictest schools here in Lynchburg, because we're not playing games, and we don't go by. You know, if you look at the past thirty years in America. Uh, students have been doing a lot worse, a lot, a lot worse in the past 30 years. Something has failed at the government level that, uh, and I'm not going to get into it in this video because there's a lot of different opinions, uh, but, but the fact is students are, their scores are, their math scores are dropping and dropping every year. And something's got to give, and there's have, there have got to be consequences. There have got to be people at the highest levels who have to pay a price for what they've done to the children of this country, to the young people of this country. Uh, so if this was helpful, please subscribe, and we will certainly be uh, in touch for other videos. Thank you.